Throughout the galaxy, a legend was told. On a distant planet, a grim fortress stood, the Gungeon. It was said to have held an artifact of impossible power. A gun that could kill the past. Most who sought the gun perished. And others languished for eternity in the Gungeon's halls. Precious few, however, achieved their aims and took their shots. But in doing so, wounded time itself. As the Gungeon becomes paradox and begins to shatter, the last of the Gungeoneers must. Exit the Gungeon. Alright, hey everyone, what about here, and welcome to Exit the Gungeon. Uh, so, obviously, published by Tevolver Digital, who's kind enough to send along a copy. I don't honestly know too much about this, mainly just because Gungeon was never something I really got into too much. Uh, I guess I should cutscene, then we can talk about this. Anyway, hail! Only the bravest and most resourceful make it this far, dear Gungeoneer. Be proud to count yourself among them. However... It seems that fate is not on your side. Shot by shot, each who fired the gun weakened the magic that held these walls together. Given your likely, er, your likely future, your past need no longer concern you. To survive, you must make a daring escape. What I'm trying to say is... You must... Exit the gungeon. You don't have time to go back the way you came. I'll aid you as best as I know how, by blessing your weapon as you make your way up. Before you attempt to escape, you should speak to Sir Manuel. He claims to have mastered the ways of the Gungeon and will certainly help you if you ask him to do so. He's, uh, right over there. Alright. Uh, let's see. So... Platforming. Uh, let's see. How do I dodge? Okay, dodge rolls bottom right. Jumping is this. What happens if we go down? I have no idea. So we also get to choose between, you know, the usual Gungeon characters. I'm assuming the other ones will show up at some point. I usually play soldier, so let's, um, roll him instead. Marine. I don't know. I don't... It's very minor. What the... Oh. Hello again. Shouldn't you be gone? This place is unstable, you know? See? Unstable. She sent you over here, didn't she? Uh, you need to refresh on how to master the Gungeon from I, Sir Manuel. Yes. Oh boy. Here we go. Let's do this thing. Let's adjourn the halls of uh, adjourn to the halls of knowledge. Bam. I pretty much know how to play, but I figured just in case there's something new. Where would Sol approach me and press E to speak? Very good! Excellent interacting! Welcome to the Halls of Knowledge! Here, don the hat of the pupil! Let's begin! Lights! Due to the carelessness of regretful souls wanting, wantonly firing a weapon that rips through time and space, the gungeon is crumbling! To reach the exit in time, you must ascend! via the Tinker's network of makeshift elevators. I've instructed my assistant to set dress the halls of knowledge to approximate what your environment will be as you race to the top. The first and most important thing is uh, is to master the dodge roll. Observe my assistant. To dodge roll, press the right mouse button while moving left or right. Good! Great! Nice! That's enough. Ready to move on? Actually, let me let me try one more time. Yeah, let's continue. 
Because your dodge rolling skills are so excellent, there's one other thing I'd like you to try. Legends tell of an ancient gungeoneer who ascended when he dodge rolled. It's referred to as the ascending dodge roll. The scriptures say that to perform this fabled technique, you must press the space button. This is an immense discovery. Please do it again. But this time, try to go as high as you can. Uh, dear Caliber, the height! You've mounted that precipice! But how do you get down? That thing you did there! It was some kind of descending dodge roll. Surely I must be the first to have discovered this powerful technique? The best defense, other than an excellent d defense, is a good offense. So kill enemies quickly to reduce the threat of taking damage. To shoot. Okay. Now I'm actually starting to lose the script here. Yeah. I'll just pretend I didn't do that. Okay, so the tutorial was funny, but then it stopped being funny. So let's just get started. Oh. I guess you actually have to talk to... You know what? Whatever. Okay, take the pamphlet, just in case. Hey, here we go. Vulnerable while dodging, you didn't interact with things. Q with blanks. That's an easy pamphlet. Good luck, have fun, etc. Yeah. Did you speak with Sir Manuel? Because you weren't gone very long. Oh, you have some sort of pamphlet. <laughs> huh. Well, I suppose this is proof enough that you're ready to... Ow! Oh, hey! Exit the gungeon. Go on. Well, that was pretty funny. I'm glad I did that. Gungeoneer. By the power of Caliber, the great and terrible unknowable patron of this chamber, and the next, who rifles the void itself and parts the curtain. I bless your weapon. Sparkles! It should change every few seconds. Caliber bestows power to those who do deserve it. The prowess you display in combat may determine the effectiveness of your weapon. Good luck! Okay, that's different. So, instead of picking up weapons now- okay. This is not what I was expecting. I- okay. So, we've got randomly generated weapons now. Ow. Okay, I need to get rid of him. He's not just piecing out like a lot of the other enemies are. Okay. This is going to take some doing. Well, we got this scrambler right off the bat. Scrambler is one of the uh, one of my favorites. I don't know. This is going to be really weird. I'm not used to the idea of all of this. Okay, I gotta I gotta eliminate him before he gets pokey. Well, scrambler is pretty dang good, and grenade launcher, which leaves me with some amount of concerns. I don't actually know if I can hit myself with that. So we don't have to worry about ammunition, which is actually one of my biggest complaints about Gungeon. Uh, well, this is straight up Mario. I'm assuming this is a boss fight? No. Okay. This is going to be very strange. I guess I'm just going to focus on, on dodging and doing all sorts of things. Nice part is, jumping and avoiding does prevent me from taking damage. So that actually gives me a fair bit of potential leeway here. I... Oh, this is going to be weird. Got him. Okay. He's dead. I... Uh... What the... Oh! Gravity is going to be a problem. I'm used to a lot of these guns flying fairly straight, and not that. But we'll find out. So what do we get? Ooh, upgrades. So, fat bullets. Fatter and stronger. I... You know what? This might honestly be... Uh... 
This might honestly be way more my speed than Gungeon was. Like, the OG. Because I, I just couldn't get into it. I, I would run out of ammo. Uh, the upgrade system was kind of... Whoop, Helix time. The upgrade system was considerably less exciting, uh, I guess. Like, it was one of those where there were some really rad upgrades over the course of Gungeon. But you never got to... You're like, you only found a couple of them. And I found myself a little bit disappointed. Uh, because I was really hoping that the, uh... You know, you'd find, like, a bunch of cool bullet modifiers. And... Not gonna lie, there still are a number. Okay. Not digging RC Rocket as much as the other ones, but that's okay. I... Okay. Gotta get rid of the bat. Gotta avoid damage. I'm actually doing fairly well without taking a hit, hit here. Uh, Medusalier Bombshell. Okay. Okay, that didn't work so hot. Heavy boots. Okay, definitely taking some damage here. We've lost our combo. Mahogany! How much health does she have? She's got a mount. Ow! Okay, so far so good. Yeah, just... Unsurprisingly, boss fight kind of messed me up a little bit. That's okay. I'm doing alright. We get itchy trigger finger ready to fire up. Cool. Yeah, so we get a lot more passive benefits, and the guns are just kind of random. I can dig it. Okay, so what do we got here? What is... I have no idea. Welcome, I am Bello, and this is my... No. I am Bellow, and this is my shop, an institution of the Gungeon. Take advantage of my reasonably priced wares and gain an edge as you try to exit the Gungeon. I've got locations in every chamber of the Gungeon, so I'm with you whenever you need me. Use the new shop machines to purchase guns and items. The Gungeon is collapsing. The dream is ending. My shop... <laughs> it ain't long for this place. Me and our slot, my cat, will be moving on once the last of you Gungeoneers have left. Alright, so I can't see that. This is some kind of key. Oh, it's... Hey, you! The Gungeon is falling apart. So... I know we've had some minor differences in the past, but... In the Gungeon's final hour, let's work together, okay? To prove my sincerity, I have a gift for you. You see the key in there? It opens something good, and it's yours. Go on, take it. No tricks. Put the key to good use. Okay, so this would be the shop machine. So, we can buy some armor. Full hearts, gungeon pepper. Uh... I don't remember what half this stuff does. I think the med kit is a usable item. I'm gonna get the, uh, gungeon pepper. I can't buy anything else. How do I? Well, there we go. Okay, heat is on. Customers always in our sights. How do I leave? Oh, there we go. It's kind of a hard spot door, all things considered. Yeah, no, I'm digging this. It, something about OG Gungeon was kind of hard for me, but this is gonna. Honestly, I'm gonna get wrecked. But at least it's clicking better. I'm sure you still have to, like, absolutely flawless a whole floor. Oh, I get to choose. Well, I have no sense of which of these is good and which of these is not. So I guess I'm just going to go whatever, wherever.
Okay. Ow. Okay. Got him, I think. No. Now I got him. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how you get extra max HP in this. I'm assuming it's either flawless bosses or... Oh, these are like little sub-chambers. I get it. Ow. Oh. The floor was lava, apparently. This is gonna be... This is gonna be rough, tough, and gonna wreck my face. Like, I, I've already accepted that. I might honestly have to... I'm currently using this with a uh, keyboard and mouse. But I might have to switch to a uh, controller for this, just for the jumping. Okay, Alpha Burst first. Yeah. I, I just... I love the fact that they're actually giving us passives now, and lots of them. Because that was truly my main issue with Gungeon, is that, like, I wanted to be slightly closer to Isaac. What the? Oh. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see, it doesn't look like I'm... Wow, this place is worth a lot of money. Okay. Alright, last one. I got an okay gun. Hopefully, there's some way to, like, actually do runs where you just keep one gun. Whoop! Okay. Here we kind of go. Uh, or at least, like, keep your gun for a little while, because some of these guns are really fun, and going pure random is actually a bit of an issue. Well, I'm near death. Gungamesh, a king. Banana. Ah, shit. Ow. Okay, we got him halfway done, and I'm almost out of health. I really gotta be on my dodge game here. Ah! I pressed space to, to jump, but it didn't work. One way or another, much more positive about this. Death. Fail to exit the Gungeon. Number one. Gungeon Marine. Blah, 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 blah. Bonus. Two. Quick restart. Return to Breach. Let's go to the Breach. Why don't we switch characters? I have no idea which characters have what perks. She's obviously got the pooch. Oh. Hey there, Hunter. Oh, you re remember me? I'm Taylor the Tinker. I make the elevators. This place isn't gonna last long. Save time getting out of here. I've constructed a network of elevators to help you exit the Gungeon as fast as possible because the system has to work in tandem with all of you. I've designed a route out of the dungeons, Gungeon specifically tailored to each Gungeoneer. That means each Gungeoneer is going to take a different route with different elevators along the way. There may be some overlap. Specifically, the first elevator is the same for all of you, but most of the rest will be different. Well, here we are. Let me guess. You tried to change your past and jeopardize the future. Hail as old as time. Travel. <laughs> okay. Back we go. I'm just gonna switch characters out and we'll s just see how this rolls. Uh. Oh. I shouldn't shoot at her. Okay. Wait. Okay. So that's... That's a change. So the dog... The dog... All the dog does...
All the dog does is it collects stuff for us. Can I just say that's actually kind of an incredible change? I don't remember the dog going out and, like, collecting all the, uh, the loot that's, like, on the ground. Ow! Oh, I didn't even notice he existed up there. Oh. We've got the... Shotgun shell. I don't remember anything's names, but that's okay. I'm curious if the modding scene for this will be better. That was one thing that I really dug about Gungeon, but didn't really get a whole heck of a lot of... Like, there weren't that many cool things. Uh, there was just kind of mod the Gungeon. And I'm sure... I'm sure, like, uh, Retromation and a couple other people could absolutely disagree with me on that one. Okay, there we go. And we get a nice big chest. Big chest has... A Mega Bullet's last. Bullet, 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 bullet. Ow. Oh. Was that a power-up or a permanent upgrade that I just destroyed? I guess we'll find out as we... we play this more. Okay, there we go. I like the Scrambler. Scrambler's probably one of my favorite guns out of, uh, out of Gungeon. Banana. Banana. Eat bananas. Oh man, I haven't had a banana in a while, actually. Uh, specifically, they tend to they tend to get kind of gross in my house. Like they're super tasty, but it's like I just don't eat them often enough. Uh, so I've kind of switched over to mostly eating apples. blanks. I don't know how much we need to worry about it. This seems like a good spot for the blank. I thought it was the dog for a second. I was like, oh shit, why aren't, why aren't I moving? <sighs> Damn it. I almost got through it. Low center of mass. Oh, I'm, I'm stompy now. I dig it. Alright, do we pick up the rat key? I'll pick up the rat key. Take that key with you. If you survive long enough, you might be able to put it to some use. Okay, armor, armor, full health. Pink goo on stone, plus one bullets, plus one bullets. Okay. This is... interesting. I just... I don't know. On one hand, oh, I should probably try... Controller controls. I should probably also be very afraid of falling here. Because I... I bet I can. Okay. Oh, we've got a glass goo on the stone from the thing. Why are we going back down? Please stop making us go back down. This seems like a terrible place to be, for a lot of reasons. Okay, I didn't even know he was there until his bullets started coming at me. That was a spook. 
What is with all of these guys? Oh, he probably has a rocket launcher. That's probably what we're dealing with. Oh, sup. Hey! Oh, unlock the cell, please. Hey, you did it. Oh, finally. Thanks again, I suppose. Even with those huge arms of his, Ox still can't pop these bars. Causing damage to the Gungeon is not part of my... Oh, causing damage to the Gungeon is not part of my... Whatever, Ox. Say that... Say thank you to our hero. Thank you for releasing us from this prison. This physical prison, at least. Oh, the drama. Anyway, as I'm sure you're aware, this place is coming apart. All that past killing apparently put the whole place into a spin. We're in the process of relocating the Gungeon Acquisitions Department to the bottom. Uh, thought we would try to help out anyone who is still stuck here. Find us in the Underbreach. Hopefully, we'll have to set things up by then. Thanks again. Yes, thank you. Alright, so we got shopping now. Yeah. Later. Oh, we're back here again. I was really hoping plus one bullets would actually be like a double shot. It's not. charge shot is, like, the worst I could possibly have chosen here. Well, at least I don't have to... At least I don't have to uh, worry about ammo counts. This would be, this would actually be kind of rough, which is prob probably part of the reason why they specifically, uh... Part of the reason why they, oh, hello. Oh, Cannon Balrog. Except for different. It's not Cannon Balrog. Uh, well, that went poorly. I don't know if I have enough firepower to deal with this guy. Okay. Holy shit, jumping really does add like a whole new dimension to this game. Got him. So was that the Cannon Balrog plus Beholster comboed? Might have been. All enemies weaker. Gundramata strain. Ooh, topical. Alright, White Gowan Stone, Chaos am Amulet. Honestly, I'm probably just going to live without. Indecision. I doubt I'm going to make it far enough to get to another shop, but none of those were really going to help me that much.
Okay, I'm not sure why some of these are yellow. I get what's going on here. I get it. I don't like it. I'm going to die horribly here. So they get really jealous. Okay. Whew. That was different. The freaking platforms turned into little little bullet people. Which I get. We gotta get rid of him. ASAP. There we go. I'll get rid of these. Lux and cannon. Okay, there we go. Well, I'm digging this gun. It's got the uh it's got some nice pew fews. Single action. Get a nice chest. Chest is... Uh, liquid life. Extra health. Actually need that. I still... I still have beefs with the... Uh, oh, no, not again. All right, whatever. Uh, I think I still have slight beefs with this game. You know, like, you have to not take damage to... Um... Oh, potion of lead skin. Okay. So that's a temporary deal. Yeah, I thought I thought for a second I had to like shoot these guys or something. I ow. That didn't work out. I was not catching my D's. Oh, this is a bad time to have a shitty gun. Okay, this is not a bad time to have a shitty gun. Okay. Oh, no. Low Priest. Blast from the past. Whoa! Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha Uh... Well, I did actually fairly all right, all things considered there, but uh, I am reminded of why I'm s not super good at these games. <laughs> Bullet Hells just do not. They just don't track. I, I like them. I like the idea of playing them. And then I'd play them and I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of doomed. So we've got 14. We can get the Beehive, the Hammer, the Heart Lunchbox. Uh, we can get the RPG Bouncing Bullets. It's not even a question. So yeah, now we've unlocked those. I still like this. I just... Ooh, bullet hells are freaking hard. All right. Well, one way or another, this is a actually a pretty good stopping point. I'm having a blast playing this. I doubt I'll ever get too far. Like, eh, maybe. Like, I've beaten the dragon a couple of times, but, like, assembling the Elder Blank and all the other all the other goodies that, uh, that were in Gungeon? Nah. 
I was never able to get that far, especially even with mods, honestly, I and heavy cheating, I was just kind of like, eh. But this appeals a little bit more, and I think it really does have to do with that whole passive uh, upgrade system. And just the simplicity of it, it's, it's a lot more digestible without having to learn any kind of meta. I'm sure there will be a meta, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be like, and this is how you deal with, like, certain chests and key economy and a bunch of other things. I don't know. Uh, so, I like it. I, it does make me really want to play Shovel Knight Dig, which is coming at some point soonish, who knows. Uh, but, still, one way or another, uh, I'm gonna at least play a fair bit more of this. Uh, at least until we beat it, or I lose my mind. Uh, so I guess with this, if you like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, exit the gungeon. I, I'm gonna shoot for a while, and, uh, let's see if I can actually manage to dodge a bullet, because... Boy, dodging bullets is hard. What happens if I go straight down? I'm assuming this is where all the bonus characters are, but, like, what's down here? I have no idea. All right, whatever. Anyway, so with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.